Welcome back again to the NEC Football Preview Show. We are joined by the LIU Sharks. They are picked seventh in the preseason coaches poll. Coach Brian Collins in his 23rd season at the helm. And I'm going to start with you, Coach, because, you know, you think about all the years that you've been involved in football. And last year was your first year as part of the Northeast Conference. I'd like to know what came easier and what came a little bit more difficult as your program made the jump into this conference? Um, well, uh, easier was a little bit familiarity. Uh, we had played these teams, some of these teams before, um, you know, the travel plan, how we practice, how we prepared, traveling into uh, for simi uh, some similar areas that we've done in the, in the past. So uh, the familiarity was very positive for us. But being unfamiliar with the with the schemes of the different teams, the level of play, really um, learning uh, our, our opponents a little bit better, all the little nuances that uh, their coordinators like to do, even showing up at their facilities pregame and, and trying to find a place to sit and everything else. So everything was really brand new about that. Um, you know, we, we certainly were disappointed in the results from last year, but it is a process. Our kids understand that it's a process and, and things are going to be totally different this year for us. Jonathan DeBeek and Derek Eugene also joining us from the Sharks. Fellas, and we'll start with you, Jonathan. Now that you guys have experienced some more NEC play, again, Coach said you guys have played some of their teams in the past, but now that you're full-fledged conference members, what do you think this team has to do in its second year of conference membership to take another step forward? I, I think we have to be better than we were starting from camp when we get to that and practice and just approach every day at the mindset that we can win these games and not let what happened last year uh, bring us down because we're all motivated for the same uh, goal coming uh, when we get to practice, then I think we can accomplish what we want to. Derek, go ahead. Yeah, I agree with Jonathan. I think it's important for us to come into camp with a better understanding of the playbook. I know last year we had a lot of new guys, but, you know, everyone has a year under their belt now. So uh, we just got to, you know, get right into it, get into a better feel once we get into camp of the playbook. And when we go out there and play, just have confidence in each other and confidence in ourselves. Along those lines, Coach, it's going to be difficult whenever it is that you guys get back because of all the virtual stuff that has gone on over this offseason to maybe find a rhythm. Is there something that you've learned over your time in football that can help a team develop chemistry quicker or that can get them out of the blocks faster? Yeah, um, it's a good point. I think uh... – Number one, this team has faced a lot of adversity. Um, it's, it's been that way uh, for the entire year. You know, we had a late start to get into Division One. We went from an undefeated team to a winless team. Uh, we lost a dear, close team member to us, and then we're dealing with the virus and, and the things that are happening there. And um, I think it's really brought us closer as a team, as a family. And um, I think that's one of the hardest things is to build that locker room in the right way and to have a great locker room. I think great teams start with great locker rooms. And I really believe that this is going to be with Jonathan and Derek and some of our other older players. The leadership is outstanding going into this. And I really think that's the most important part of dealing with adverse situations is that things that are, you know, adversity causes some to break, others to break records. Uh, we've dealt with adversity. We've stayed strong together. And uh, whenever it is, I think that will be a tremendous outlet for our team to be back out on the field together competing really hard. Based off of what you just said, Coach, I'd like to go to Derek and, and ask you, you hear your coach talk about the leadership and the quality individuals that you guys are. What is it that you yourself would like to do to not only enhance your role as a leader, but also to you know, prove that your coach was right to give you that kind of respect? Uh, well, one thing that I've noticed over myself since I didn't play, you know, I need to get them to know my guys just as much as uh, any other guy should because I noticed I was hanging around – as I, when I said should, I was hanging around the offense a lot. But uh, I, don't really, I didn't get to really know the defensive play. So I think it's important for me to like, develop a relationship with those guys so that way if they're having a good game or they're having a bad game or just a, a day, forget about football – I'm able to go up there and talk to him. I'm one of the guys that they could, they feel comfortable enough to approach about any situation. And, you know, that, that just builds a chemistry with a football team. Jonathan, a similar situation for you, or do you find that you can assert leadership in a different way? Yeah, I, I agree with Derek that, like, 
we can take uh, our bonds that we built in the off season, like talking to each other since we haven't seen each other in person, and we can grow on that easily once we're with each other again, because it's going to be a respecting that leadership will become, and we're going to grow from what we built on from last year, and now we'll be better, have better relationships, and that will show on the field. Coach Collins, of the new players coming in this year, the recruiting class and some of the underclassmen who you're now going to have to maybe count on a little bit more, what is the one thing that you would say to them that, look, I need to get this out of you, if nothing else? Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, this was an outstanding class for us. I think also a little bit different than years past is we've had some of these younger guys towards uh, in our Zoom meetings, you know, because it was a, became allowable for us to meet with them as well. So I think some of these younger guys and some of the new guys have a better understanding of our schemes just from being on these meetings with us. <clears throat> We certainly need them to come in. When we recruited them, we said, listen, this is not a red shirt situation for us. It's all hands on deck. Our hashtag has been worse to first uh, since day one, since we finished the season. Um, you know, they're ready to come in. Last year's group, I think, you know, we learned a little bit about the recruiting process. We got here a little bit late into the recruiting game for Division One, And we found that a lot of recruits, they're just happy saying they're going to Division One schools. You know, uh, this class... We vetted a lot more. We got to know them a lot more before we even brought them in in saying that, listen, you know, it's important to be a member of LIU Shark team to be great and what our expectation level is uh, at this institution. Again, um, Jonathan and Derek have been here a long time. They've won a lot of football games, um, and there was such a difference in atmosphere for us losing games last year, and, and, and we don't want to relive that. We want to grow from that, though, and learn from it. And I think the newcomers have a better understanding of, hey, it's not enough to be here. Now you have to contribute as well right away. Well, fellas, I'm just glad that your coach figured out how to electronically work the Zoom. That's all. Because he's an old school guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the times you got to be able to adjust, though, right? And so we are. That's it. you got to call those audibles. Hey, Coach Brian Collins of the LIU Sharks, Jonathan DeBeek, and Derek Eugene, thank you so much for your time, fellas. Best of luck. And we'll hopefully see you on the field very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Back with more NEC conversation after this.